English nerd herders, listen up! Welcome back to the Captain's Commentaries. I'm Captain Xavier, and these are my commentaries. And since HVZ is really starting to ramp up, there's a bunch of games that I'm going to be going to this upcoming weekend. I'll be going to the Penn State University game. There is then West vs. Zombies, End War, Ragnar Oktoberfest. Those are all HVZs. So I wanted to take a moment to discuss my philosophies on HVZ, particularly how to make sure that you have the most fun and how to make sure that everyone has the most fun, since that is the motto of the Auxiliary, and the whole point behind it is more fun for everyone. So how do we have the most fun? For a lot of you, this is going to be your first HVZ, and you may not have any idea what it's going to be like, what to expect, you know, how things are going to play out, and it... it it really is important that you really understand the mechanics of HVZ and kind of the philosophies behind HVZ so that you don't go in with um, unrealistic or incorrect assumptions about HVZ and thus end up robbing yourself or other players of fun. Because I've seen that happen and it, it's, it's no good. So we're going to talk about expectations, what you should, you know, how the game works, who the roles that everybody plays and what you should expect there. Uh, we're going to talk about really more in depth on the roles, the difference between humans and zombies and, and what that means. And then finally, what I view as your responsibility as a player. So HVZ is, as you know, for those of you who aren't aware, is humans versus zombies. Most people start out as humans armed with nerf blasters. There are a couple of zombies, either mods that have decided to, or, hum or just players who volunteered to start out as zombies. And if you get tagged by a zombie, you become a zombie. You go put all your nerf gear away and you play as a zombie for the rest of the game. And um, if a human manages to tag a zombie, then that zombie is stunned and can't tag anyone for a certain amount of time and, and so on and so forth. And a lot there's it's played in hundreds of campuses across the country and as well as these big invitational events. And everywhere it's slightly different. So you go to one HVZ, you go to another one, it, they may have quite different rules, different kinds of zombies, different restrictions on what kind of blasters are um, allowed. So make sure that you know the rules of the HVZ that you're going to. Because even the ones we're going to, Penn State has different rules than West vs. Zombie, which has different rules than um, End War, which has different rules than Ragnar Oktoberfest. And so you definitely familiar si familiarize yourself with the rules of the game that you're going to, so you don't show up with a blaster only to be told, no, can't use that. That's not going to be any fun. Um, definitely don't expect to be able to take your super high-end 150 full-auto rapid strike, you know, or your, you know, 200 FPS caliber to an HVZ. Nobody's going to allow that. Uh, Ragnar Oktoberfest allowed 150 last year, and they're probably going to lower it, because that's a little hard to be hitting point-blank range. Because most of HVZ takes pace at point-blank range. And so keep that in mind. You don't want to bring a blaster that's going to hurt people if you shoot them in the face from one foot away. Because that's very likely to happen. When the zombie jumps out of the bush and you pop your blaster up and, and shoot him, you might hit him in the face at point blank range. And so don't use something that's going to hurt people at that range. That's just mean and unnecessary. Because you don't need range in HVZ. You don't really need super high rates of fire in HVZ. You want something reliable. Um, that has, you know, that will always fire when you pull the trigger. And highly modified blasters become finicky. So be aware of the equipment that you're bringing. Um, I have seen people who were sure they were going to make it to the end of a, a week and a half long game. And so they went out and bought every blaster under the sun. And uh, they were going to have a different loadout for every single mission. And they were going to, you know, hose down the zombies with their rapid strikes and all of that. And then they got tagged five minutes into the first mission having never fired a dart. Um... And that, they were very upset about that. They were very disappointed. You know, I put all this money into it, and now I don't get to use any of it. And, you know, and that, that wasn't the fault of the game. It wasn't the fault of the game moderators. It wasn't the fault of the zombies. It was largely their fault for the unrealistic expectation of, that they're going to survive. You really need to go into HVZ assuming you're going to get tagged. Because you probably are. Most people end up getting tagged. I mean, even with the auxiliary, with all of the training and all of the stuff that we're going to go through, most of us are going to get tagged. In fact, in some games, there is no human victory condition. The game goes until all the humans have been tagged. So you are going to get tagged. Your gun will jam, you'll run out of ammo, the horde will just overwhelm you. It's gonna happen. And more to the point, you're supposed to get tagged. That's how the game progresses. 
is more humans get turned into zombies, which result in more humans getting turned into zombies, and and the horde grows. And so you really need to understand that the it is the the job of the mods, the goal of the moderators, of the people running the game, to get you tagged. They are going to send you on missions that are designed to get humans tagged. They are going to occasionally make tweaks to the rules in order to get humans tagged. They are going to create super zombies that are intended to get humans tagged. They're, they need to in order for the game to work because it's humans versus zombies. If no one gets tagged, there's no zombies and it's just people walking around campus with nerf blasters. And that's not any fun. So humans need to get tagged and occasionally you're going to be the unlucky human that gets tagged because of a rule change or a super zombie that you didn't have the, the what necessary weapon to take out or just bad luck. It's going to happen. And you need to go into the game knowing that. that you're, there's every the perfectly good chance that you're going to travel halfway across the country or the world even to get to end war and you're planning to make it to the last stand and stand beside you know the captain and you know all these other big name nerfers and then you get unlucky and a zombie jumps out from a bush and gets you 10 minutes in that can happen that happened to at least one person they flew from overseas and got taken out 10 minutes in and they still had a wonderful time because they had that expectation going in uh, and a lot of that you know don't get too invested into it that's that's kind of a an important philosophy on life is how much emotional energy you invest in a thing should be directly proportional to the consequences of something bad happening and in the case of hvz nothing bad happens when you get tagged that's not the end of the world you're not going to get you know you're not actually a zombie and you're dead now and that's horrible you've just play, you just switched to a different part of the game and so don't get so hyped up into surviving that when you don't, it ruins the game for you. That's a bad attitude to go into the game with. You need to go in with a good attitude of, well, I'm going to try to be the best human I can, and I will try to survive, and if I don't, I will be the best human or zombie that I can be, and I will tag as many humans as I possibly can. Um, and that's the, the the other part of the, you know, the some people view getting tagged as losing, and it isn't. You... The whole point of HVZ, the reason we do this, the reason we go to these games, is to have fun. So the only way you lose is if you don't have any fun because of your own choices. If you, if the game is just poorly run and nobody ends up having a fun as a result of bad management or bad weather or whatever, that's nobody's fault, or it's not your fault. But if you don't have fun because you went in with a bad attitude or you decided, oh, I got tagged and now I'm just not going to play anymore... That's on you. So don't do that. Go in with the attitude of, I will play a human for as long as I can, and if I get tagged, I will then play a zombie as, as, as hard as I can. You haven't lost, at, at most, you've switched sides. Because it's humans versus zombies. There need to be zombies for the humans to fight. So if it's your turn to now play a zombie, then, then do that. Get into it. Enjoy it. Work with the other zombies, or go be a solo zombie and jump out of bushes when people aren't expecting, or you know, be creepy and scary and, and all of that. Because that's fun. It's a lot of fun. I know people who go out of their way to get tagged on day one of a week and a half HVZ because they don't like playing a human. They like playing a zombie. And they have a lot of fun with it. And they're good at it. Or groups of friends will all get... Once one of them gets tagged, they'll then, you know, try to all get tagged. Or they'll, you know, do suicidal missions in the hopes of possibly getting tagged so that they can then run as a group of zombies. And it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And in order for the humans to have the fun of fighting zombies and to have that glorious last stand where you're... You, you know, five humans end up making it to as the timer goes off and they're they're all almost out of ammunition, but they made it because of all of that. They can only have that fun because the zombies give them a good fight. And so it, it it's imperative that you you do that, that you go into the the side of playing the zombie not as I've lost, what's the point now? This isn't any fun. No, go into it of now I am the zombie and I will run with the horde and we will destroy everybody. Um and it, it, it just makes it so much more fun. And that, that, that segues nicely into my philosophy on your responsibility as a player. Is we, when, you, when you agree to play HVZ, when you go to an HVZ game, there is the, the understanding that you will play both sides of it. That if you get tagged, you will do your part to play a zombie. Even if you don't like playing a zombie, or you, you know, you're bummed out that you got tagged and you don't get to run as much as you wanted, or your, your blaster jammed and... That's why you got tagged and, you know, you could have done better. Yeah, that's disappointing and all of that. But when you agreed to play the game, you it, it 
there was the agreement that you would do your part if you got tagged. Because sometimes you will get to make it to the last stand and have that glorious battle where you survive and feel all awesome because you, you put up a good fight. But you only got that good fight because the players that got tagged played a good good zombies for you to, to fight against. Um, and so it really does fall on you to, to do your side. When you get tagged, give the players that haven't been tagged yet a good fight. Make them work for it. Make them earn it. Give them the fights that, you know, you wanted to have. Because someday you will be the one that's in that last stand. So, you know, do that. And especially the auxiliary. Because I don't play HVZ to win. That, Like I said, I win if I have fun. And for me, fun is a good fight. Whether I my good fight is five minutes in or the last 30 seconds, I don't care when I have the good fight. I just want to make such an end as Theoden would say, as to be worth a song. I want people to talk about it. I want to be able to talk about it. Did you see that shot or when that zombie came out of that tree or, you know, snuck up behind us and it wasn't that cool and yeah, that. I want that. I don't want to just be able to say, I survived. Because it may have been a really boring game if, if no zombies ever attacked me or I just walked through and never had a good fight. That's no fun. I want a good fight. And if that means I get taken out, you know, doing a last stand somewhere so the rest of the humans can survive and the horde eventually, you know, takes me to the ground and murder my brains. That would be fantastic. But I need the zombies to play that for me to be able to have that end. And so if I get turned into a zombie, I will give the players the kind of fight that I wanted. And so it it it, it is your duty as a player, having agreed to play this game, to play both sides of it. And you can have so much fun playing a zombie if you really get into it. And I will eventually cover zombie strategies on how to play a good solo zombie, how to sneak up on people, how to dodge better, how to gauge when to rush. Uh, I also go over horde tactics. There are some common tactics that are used that work very well, and then there are common tactics that are used that don't work at all, and I never understand why they keep doing them. So I will go into that, because I want the Auxiliary to be the best example of humans, as well as the best example of zombies. I want people to look at the Auxiliary and think, that's the game we want to be playing, and so that they will be encouraged to play that game, so that we all have more fun. Because if they see us playing good zombies, then they will play good zombies, and we will have good zombies to play against. If they see us playing good humans, they will also want to play good humans, and there will then be a lot more fun all the way around. So, it really is a matter of, a largely a matter of attitude and understanding what the game is, that yes, they're going to try to get you tagged, you're going to get tagged, and then you're going to play the best zombie that you can possibly play. I really do hope at some point in one of the games over the course of the summer, I am taken down by a horde of auxiliary, actually taking me to the ground and, you know, swarming me. Please don't break me, though. I'm a, I'm a broken, fragile old man. But, but yeah. I, I want to go down to a, a horde of auxiliary. Or I want to lead a horde of zombie auxiliary against the last remnants of the auxiliary that have survived and either, you know, die at their feet just getting mowed down or just going over the top of them and annihilating them and all of the auxiliaries in the horde. It's gonna be fun. One way or the other, we are gonna have a lot of fun. So be prepared for that because... I will very much expect you to play both a good zombie and a good human, one way or the other. I don't want to see people getting all bent out of shape because, you know, I packed all this gear and then I got taken out. Like, well, yeah, that that's going to happen. Be aware of that. We will have a place for you to bring your gear where it'll be safe. Don't worry about it. Let's go, let's go be zombies. Let's go eat some humans. It's going to be great. So, there you have it. There are my philosophies. That is what I expect. That is what I want to see. Bang, bang! Ha! Murder. Murder.